Senator Martha McSally recently disclosed that she was sexually assaulted while she served in the Air Force by a superior, she says. And today, she was here in the Valley. She met with commanders at Luke Air Force Base to discuss ways to stop these attacks in the military. In fact, she asked for a special task force to investigate. The Pentagon agreed. Political editor Dennis Welch is live at it, Luke, with the very latest. Hey, Dennis. Yeah, and one thing McSally really wants to do is move quickly on reducing this issue of sexual assaults in the military. And she wants this task force to come up with some specific uh, recommendations by the time Congress begins its w work on the defense bill. So that gives her about 60 days to get all of this work done. Now, McSally is a com former combat pilot. She described her discussions today with base commanders as productive. However, she didn't want to go into details of those talks today or any potential proposals she might be pressing for in the coming weeks. But she did say the ultimate ultimate goal to reduce and eliminate sexual assault in the military. A 2017 report issued by the Pentagon showed that the Defense Department received over 6,700 reports of sexual assault. McSally also said the military needs to do a better job on education and prevention. We're very much also focusing on after an assault is reported, uh, what can we do to improve the process of uh, the investigations and uh, the judicial process, uh, what other resources do they need, uh, what's working, what's not working. And again, McSally is going to be working on a tight deadline here, having just two months to get some of this work done, and we'll keep you updated on the latest as this unfolds. Reporting live outside Luke Air Force Base in Glendale, Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.